Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In our previous example, we looked at a simple property structure and a complex property structure and how to map them to a Java object. What if you want to have a separate YAML file to hold these custom properties? And if you want to have multiple such YAML files, can this be achieved in Spring Boot? Yes, you can. Let us see how this achieved. If you want multiple YAML files, you can simply create a YAML file and then map it to a spring specific property key. Let us look at it. For this example, what I've done is like I created a YAML file application iPhone complex.yaml and moved the complex property structure that we had inside the application YAML into the new file. The key structure has been moved here. Then what you have to do is you have to go back to your application.yaml and you have to add a key spring.profile.include and you have to mention complex. Complex is the prefix that has been mentioned in the complex property. Spring uses this to easily understand that this complex prefix is mapped to a application.yaml and that yaml has to be loaded for object mapping. What if you want multiple yaml files? Still, that can also be achieved. You just have to add the YAML here and create a new YAML file like now you have two YAML files created and the profiles has been included for Spring to be recognized. Let us delete this for now and let us try to run our application to see if we are getting the desired output. I'm going to delete the new address because I don't have any address property or any configurations for that. So now we have the application iPhone complex as all our property structure. Let us go and run this. Before we move on to our browser to check, you could see here in our console, the following profiles are active, complex. Complex is the application YAML that we added to our Spring project. And Spring automatically recognizes it using the spring.profile.include key. Now let us go to the browser. And try to load the get conf property URL. You could see here the property keys are still being loaded successfully without any issues. This is a more efficient way to add multiple YAML files in your Spring Boot projects. This particular strategy is achieved using some of the concepts of Spring profiles. Spring profiles help to have different application configurations for different environments. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more such videos.